Hey now, it's your boy Gorilla Gamer bringing you your Florida Man news for June 12th, 2023. Let's get on it. If you missed yesterday's live Florida Man show, go back and check it out on the YouTubes. Don't forget, it was a good show. It was fun. Funny and good times. Florida Man cuts off ankle monitor, jumps out apartment window during SWAT negotiations. Corey Michael Payton, 44, has a criminal history that includes 139 prior felony charges with 30 total felony convictions. So he's a 30-time loser. A Florida Man was arrested Sunday after cutting off his ankle monitor, barricading himself inside an apartment, and jumping out a window in the apartment. According to officials, the Sumter County Sheriff's Office responded to the Sandalwood Apartments in the city of Wildwood at around 3.54 a.m. Sunday after multiple reports of a driver breaking into apartments after crashing a car into one of the buildings. What an asshole. When deputies arrived, they discovered the suspect later identified as 44-year-old Corey Michael Payton, who barricaded himself inside a second-story apartment. He was burglarizing, the Sheriff's Office said in a press release. Payton threatened to shoot, and to shoot the deputies, leading authorities to evacuate several apartments they considered to be in danger. Danger. Yeah, there's the car right there that he ran into the apartment. It's real nice. Good job, asshole. Good job, Peyton. The sheriff's office's SWAT team ultimately responded to the scene, and a crisis negotiation team established verbal contact with Peyton through a second floor window. He had broken out. Officials had been negotiating with Peyton to surrender peacefully for several hours before he dove out a second story apartment window, Florida man style, and landed on the ground in a perfect vault. A village, a village's fire crew at the scene attempted life-saving measures before Peyton was flown by a helicopter to a regional trauma center. Deputies checked outside the window of one of the burglarized apartments and found Peyton's ankle monitor. He was on parole for burglary and unsupervised release. An arrest warrant was issued on June 9th after he violated his parole, the sheriff's office said. Peyton has an extensive criminal history that includes 139 prior felony charges and 30 total felony convictions. Peyton's charges for Sunday's incident are still under investigations, but will include burglary to an unoccupied dwelling, burglary to a dwelling, and multiple counts of criminal mischief. He will be booked into the Sumter County Detention Center when he is released from the hospital. And what's what? It's only 31 total now. What's the big deal? You can have 30 felony charges. No skin off Peyton's nose. Hey, don't be Corey Michael Peyton today and don't do anything Florida. Have a great day. Grill the Gamer out.